It's a beautiful day in Victoria. And today we're in Grampians National Park. We're Tom and Angel and we're going on a road trip of a lifetime on the Great Ocean Road, just outside of Melbourne, Australia. We're going to see some of the most scenic and naturally beautiful parts of the country as we visit the mountains of Grampians National Park, the shores of the Twelve Apostles, and koalas and penguins on Phillip Island and so much more. So come along on this first part of our journey. Let's catch you up to speed. Yesterday, we rented a car in Melbourne. You got this. You got this. Or I'm gonna total a car. No, no. Remember, left side. First impression? I have tried to hit the turning signal three times and I have turned on my wipers. <laughs> Turn signal. It's exciting to be painting again. Those are the wipers. So it, it's just, there you go. They're on the other side here. The other thing too that Melbourne is known for is for having hook turns. I'm gonna show a visual to show this, but we're used to turning left on the left lane, but it's like turning left from the right lane. So you actually have to cross the road first and then and then do the turn it's it's really weird and it's only something that they have in melbourne and like not very many places i noticed it as a pedestrian and i am glad i'm not driving oh hey you're gonna even out your uh your arm tan, My driver's tan. yeah your driver's arm <laughs> Took a three hour drive out to this national park area. We had an okay sleep and now we're getting a full day in Grampians National Park. We're hoping to get some wildlife, cool walks. What? It's okay. Was that <laughs> wildlife? <laughs> I think it was a stick. Um, but nice wildlife, please. And we're hoping to get some like really cool views from all of the lookouts here. We just got some coffee and we're starting our day nice and easy with the Venus baths. Should be nice. So cute. I love that the kangaroos are just everywhere. There's hundreds of them all around. They're kind of like the quokkas, but the only thing is, there's nothing comparable in North America, I would say, that makes sense for this to register properly. <laughs> in that they're pretty big. They're not as big as deer, which, you know, we can get used to, like elks walking around in town. And they're bigger than raccoons, except for the baby ones. It just doesn't... I don't know. There's far more of them than I expected. This is their home. Yeah. They live... They live in harmony with all the people. Everybody kind of leaves them alone, which is nice. It's probably for the best. I've heard that they could kill a human if they really wanted to. And there are some big ones. There's some like kangaroo jacked sized ones out here, which like is kind of scary. So those ones especially you don't want to mess with. We do have a list of animals we want to see. Thankfully kangaroos easily checked off of that list here. We are going to keep an eye out for... Koalas and echidnas. Koalas are apparently popular in this part of Australia and echidnas are everywhere, but they're very small. So we have to look up for the koalas and down for the echidnas. Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta keep our eyes peeled. It's totally fine. Up, down, up, down, you know. Welcome to the Venus Baths. This is a cool little valley that's been carved from the rain and the wind. This sandstone has just been totally flattened now from all the water. And now it's just become this beautiful like bathing spot where you can cool your feet on a hot day. Over on this side we have, they call it elephant skin and it's also sandstone, but it has that name because it looks like the rough skin of an elephant, especially when it's wet. Have you noticed that the water is brown and like it, a it, little reddish? It appears brown, but I'm willing to bet that it's an illusion. Oh, um, I mean, I dug my hand in there and I got a scoop and it was kind of like, it was brown. It's definitely got some sediments in it. It's just iced tea. It's early enough in the day that it's not too, too hot. So we are gonna skip out on the foot dipping today. Ew, what if it's brown? Cause there's like a bunch of people 
dipping their dipping feet, feet up river. <laughs> Glad I didn't drink it. Gross. One of the top spots in Grampians National Park is Mackenzie Falls. It's a little bit further from Halls Gap, the town, but let me tell you, that drive to get out here, chef's kiss. It was twists and turns through the mountains, beautiful trees, and then when you start getting up and you kind of peek past the actual mountains, you see the views of the rest of the Grampians National Park, and it's unbelievable. It's so nice. Highly recommend. I hope that this waterfall is as cool as that ride was. Someone threw a pineapple, like, head in the ground. What the heck? If you're this person... Throw your garbage out. Think about it. This doesn't belong here. I'm throwing this out. Good. It doesn't seem like a long way down, but 260 steps is quite a ways away. Do not be deceived. There are a lot of huffing and puffing and crying babies <laughs> along the trail, but it's so worth it. It's so beautiful and it's actually really loud. That's why we can talk down there. <sighs> we, we are the huffing and puffing and crying babies. <sighs> but it was magnificent. Gorgeous. You could swim there if you were so inclined. There were a lot of people taking a dip. It's really nice. But we got a lot more to see, so let's keep going. Grampian! Our route today through the park has us starting out with the stop that is like farthest up the mountain and furthest away, which is Mackenzie Falls. And then as we go through the different stops, we're going to be making our way back into town and also out. All of the stops are either a waterfall or a lookout. After Mackenzie Falls is Reed Lookout, which is a lookout that's accessible through the parking lot. So it's nice and easy and has a really beautiful view of the huge valley across. Reed Lookout is what I'm gonna call a parking lot lookout where you step out of your car and onto the path of the lookout. Can I say lookout any more times? That one's very easily accessible, but at that same stop around a kilometer hike is the balconies. I have seen so many social media posts about people being on this rock and taking pictures of it. Clearly it has been fully closed off now by this fence. It doesn't look safe. <laughs> I'll give it that. But if you really want a good photo, I mean, yeah, that's the place to do it. But we're gonna keep it safe. Our family's watching. So we're gonna be good examples. Well, the law is watching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the law, I care about my mom. Just kidding. The balconies lookout also looks onto the same uh, piece of land and valley as Reed does. However, halfway into the balconies trail, there's a nice clear spot with some rocks where you can get a nice view of the Warlock Reservoir. So that's kind of a lookout that isn't really advertised, but I would say it's more interesting than the two that are facing the other side. Next, a little bit further up is the Broca Lookout. This is another parking lot accessible trail. It's only a few steps away, and there are two spots where you can take a look at Hall's Gap. You get a really good view of the city, and you get a nice clear view of Lake Belfield right between the mountains, and you can even see the dam. It's a really nice view. We were gonna do Pinnacle right after those. However, it got really hot and realized we hadn't really taken a break yet today. So we're back in town and we're trying to cool down. And I had this wild idea that maybe we could get some ice cream. So Tom didn't want ice cream, which is like, what? And so I can't have ice cream. He's not having ice cream. And then I saw the head. 
mango milkshakes. So I just got that instead. Mm. How is it? Ooh, this is like a, a mango milk. It's not really like, like it's not like the mango milkshakes I'm used to. This kind of tastes like you've had like strawberry milk or banana milk. It's like a mango milk. It's, really it's not too sweet. At this point, it's just nice to be out of the sun for a little bit. I started getting sunburnt, so I just put on some sleeves. We're taking a walk in Hall's Gap as I drink my milkshake. I will say, gelato guys looks like they have the way better ice cream so if you do decide to get ice cream just know that i've had regrets and theirs looks better so get gelato guys <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was so great. Well marked and straightforward, but they put all the elevation together. And it's basically a staircase of rocks just right up. I don't know what I was expecting for a trail called the Pinnacle, but gotta get up there somehow. And just like that, it seems like we are the mountains now. Not much to look at anymore. Ooh, ooh I see something ahead. Tom and I were kind of joking, where we're like, have we hiked this hike before? They all start to look the same. <laughs> the terrain is very similar. I mean, it's it's a little bit like of a desert climate here, so really rocky, got some sandstone, got some sand, like bush for foliage, and it's very similar to the Okanagan Mountains, and it's just so strange because sometimes we do stop and we're just like, we're in Australia. <laughs> so it's weird to feel familiar in uh, in a place that is not actually familiar at all. What'd you find? Oh. I'll look into it. Okay. I'm not gonna climb in. <laughs> I was gonna say, look how cool these rocks are, and we're like about to be on top of it. It looks like it was stacked on top. It looks fake. It looks fake. Looks like someone put it here? Well, it looks like real rocks. It just doesn't look like it's naturally there. Okay, we've reached the part where it's pure rock. Like the 80s. <laughs> Would you consider this uh, a peak Grampians experience? Pinnacle. Pinnacle of the would Grampians. You, would you say this is in the upper echelon of activities here? It's the pinnacle though. Well, we'll cap it off that. This is the pinnacle. I was surprised. I wasn't expecting to too much when I saw that there was a, like a metal barrier and fence here. But honestly, this view with this here, it's like nothing else. We're getting a good view of the lake. The big dam, the rock formations, I'm loving. It's giving. It's giving. <laughs> I think if you were to come here for sunrise, it would be incredible because this is east facing. Mm -hmm. So you would see the sunrise over those other mountains and over the, the vast field. <laughs> the Victorian countryside. Yeah. Yeah. This is it's beautiful. beautiful. Thanks. So from what I've learned about Grand Pans National Park is like a lot of people come here for this trail and they come to this viewpoint and it's incredible, it deserves it. But I'm really glad that we we waited uh, until basically the end of our day because like 
all the other little trails and stuff that we've done and all the other viewpoints really like this this was really like a crescendo for it it was incredible it is so beautiful up here Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm so glad we spent a full day at Grant Beard's. Perfect weather, great lookouts, like everything was clear and beautiful. It was absolutely perfect. But day one of our road trip is not yet complete. We still have to head down to Port Ferry where we're staying tonight because tomorrow we're starting on the world famous Great Ocean Road. And we would like to get a pretty early start. This is day one of four of our Great Ocean Road, plus plus a few other things like Grampians and Phillip Island along the way. So it's kind of like a super Great Ocean Road trip <laughs> in Victoria. The drive to Port Ferry is about an hour and a half now. So hopefully we'll still have some light by the time we get there. If not, we'll give you some nice nighttime ocean views. We've made it to Port Ferry. Look at this beautiful ocean. We do have an early start tomorrow. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you there in the next one. Bye. Bye. The Southern Ocean. Yes. Is it the Southern Ocean? The Antarctic Ocean, the Southern Ocean. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're a little sweaty, so they can take a breather. You'll never know what song this is. Arnar! Arnar! Well, there are bugs that got caught in 